Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it is. All right. How's everyone doing today? Uh, please, please, as you guys are chiming in, make sure to let me know where you're watching from. Say hi. Go to the chat if you want that open. Uh, if you are on the chat box, please make sure you check to everyone. Everyone wants to see where everyone is watching from. So how's everyone doing today on this August 13th? Friday the 13th, too. Just saying. But I am Joe with Caesar North America. Hello, everyone. I always say my very first lesson of every one of my classes here on these Michael Zooms is how to properly pronounce Caesar. All right, so say it with me. Caesar. Yes, congratulations. You did it correctly. That is the name of our company. So S-I-S-E-R. When you see that at your Michael store, it is Caesar. Tell your friends. All right. So today is August 13th. And I was extremely excited that Michaels wanted me to do this class because I felt like they were kind of joking with me because uh, I've been called out in my previous classes because, yes, I am left handed and today is National Left Handed Day. So let's hear it for the left handed people out there. All right. So right on for all of you, because you know what? We make roughly about 10 to 12 percent of the population. So 10 to 12 percent of the population in the entire world is left handed. So you got to feel extra special. And so that's why we decided to make that my superpower for today being left handed. Um, we did have to adjust the camera because the joke was in my previous classes, I would have to color things in and we would have the shot from the other side in my hand would block what I was doing. I'm sorry, I'm left handed. So we fix it up. We're going to do it another way. So today, today's class is actually going to be about coloring in. And yes, this is for the kids too. Not only adults, but get your kids going. You can color on garments guilt free because it's completely washable. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I'm using these Cray Cray uh, Crayola washable, ultra washable markers here. And we're going to be coloring on a 100% cotton t-shirt. And we're going to be using, because I am terrible at just freehand drawing, but we're going to be using Caesar Strip Flock Pro heat transfer vinyl as a template. So this is where the fun begins. This is where you get to be creative. And again, this is why I say for the kids, because you guys are about to head back to school. I'm sorry to say it, but yeah, school is around the corner. So why not show up in something vibrant and decorative? And yes, it's probably a one-time use because once you wash this, I promise it comes right out. But what's great is the Caesar heat transfer vinyl is left behind. So you can go back and do it again, change up the color style. So it doesn't even have to be just for school. If you have birthday parties coming up, any kind of get togethers and you guys want to have some fun crafty nights and draw all over your garments guilt free. This is something that you can do. And again, the creative end comes with how you create your template. So I'm going to be using Caesar Strip Lock Pro today, which is again, a heat transfer vinyl. So it's the only thing I'm going to be using with my Caesar Craft heat press that I have on right here. Um, so what you're going to do, we decided to go with the Strip Lock Pro because this is one of our more thicker products that we have out there, which we noticed that when you're coloring and you want to stay inside the lines, the thickness of the Strip Lock Pro will keep your marker inside the lines. Um, you can use Caesar Easy Weed. It's a little bit, it's obviously way more, uh, th it's thinner than the Strip Lock Pro. So you might have a tendency like myself when I was testing this out to still color outside the lines. Um, another cool thing we noticed is not only does it wash off of the garment itself, but even if you use another color of Caesar product, it will wash off of that as well. So it is, these markers are pretty cool. You gotta make sure that we're using these types of markers. So if you're using other fabric markers, other sublimation type markers, make sure you're using the correct markers for this process. Again, they're the Ultra Wash Crayola uh, markers. Again, everything I'm, I'm using today is available at Michael's all the way from our heat transfer vinyl to the markers, to the heat press, to the garment. So any questions on that, of course, you can reach out to Michael's. So before we begin, 
Who's, do we have any questions? Who's watching, Trev? Anyone? Got anyone popping in? Yeah, yeah. We got uh, Miles from uh, Gloucester Township, New Jersey. We got Kelly Michelle. Kelly Michelle. Um, there's any people who. All right, cool. All right. Well, I hope everyone's still watching. All right, first step we're going to do, we already got a jump start on our Strip Lock Pro. We cut it on whether you have a silhouette or a cricket, whatever bottle cutter you have at home, you're going to cut your Caesar Strip Lock Pro. If you have any questions on how you set that up, you can always visit our website, get the Caesar app on your phone. It gives you all the recommendations for your cutting as well as your heat application. Uh, so that's where we're going to begin. Remember, you cut mirrored just like you normally would. So I have a little bit more weeding to do. Obviously, for a project like this, you're going to want your design to have almost less heat transfer vinyl and more surface area for you to color in. Um, so I just kind of got a little bit of a head start because coloring takes a little bit. I'm not going to go the full route because I don't want to bore you but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get the project going. And please, again, feel free to ask any questions along the way. And again, for the left-handers, let's hear it for them. There's so many cool statistics if you're bored after this or if you're bored while you're watching this, look that up. There's some fun little things I didn't know about left-handed people. Yeah, any left-handers in the chat? Yeah, who's left-handed? Chime in. It's our day. It's our day to uh, shine in a right-handed world, so to speak. Kind of is, though. Yeah, live it up today. <laughs> live it up today because it's not going to be that way tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so there is my Strip Lock Pro cut out, weeded. Like, as you notice in this picture, a lot of it is all kind of negative. So we even decided to take out the inside of the letters, a lot of the, um, the actual uniform, all this so that we can inevitably color it in, which is what's on my shirt, if we wanna go on on that trip. So as you see, this is kind of what we're gonna do. You get an overview of what we just colored today before this class. But I'm just gonna show you real fast uh, the application now. So with Caesar Strip Lock Pro, I am gonna be using the Caesar Craft, Craft Heat Press here for this demonstration. But if you don't have one of these, you can obviously still use a home iron or the Cricut Easy Press, whatever you have at home. Um, I love the Craft Heat Press because I like kind of pressing this a little bit faster, a little bit more efficiently. Um, so this is, where you wanna make sure you're set up correctly. This craft heat press is a nine by 12. So it's not going, you're gonna notice, I'm gonna to have to press this transfer twice because it's larger than the surface space on my heat press. So I'm just gonna do a pre-press in the areas I'm pressing on. Again, I'm using 100% cotton t-shirt here. White is obviously gonna be the best for coloring if you want the true colors to pop out. And in case anyone has any questions about the actual marker thing, uh, when we get done with that, I'll explain a little bit before that, even if you heat press these markers after you color it, say you really did want it to stay and you think heat pressing it will really lock it into the fabric, it's not true. These things are really made for uh, washing. So they come right out. All right, so I have medium pressure, which is set on my heat press. I'm pressing the first portion of this for 15 seconds at 311 degrees. So all I'm gonna do, I press the first half. I'm just gonna shift it up a little bit. This is gonna require two presses. Reason I like this again, if you're using a home iron, you already know you got to make sure that you're pressing with accuracy with the actual downforce, as well as making sure your temperature is right, and as well as avoiding any kind of steam that could be in your iron. Uh, with the craft heat press, it's a quick application, consistency. Now I don't have to worry about it falling off in the wash. Now with Caesar Strip Lock Pro, it is also a warm peel, so you don't need to wait till it cools off. 
And if you've never used a strip lock pro as a standalone heat transfer vinyl, again, if you just wanted this, it's a sharp look. It's also, which we're not going to be able to show or really get to on video, obviously, but the feel of the strip lock pro is very unique. It's got a suede like very velvety feel to it. And what's cool about it as well is you can layer directly on top of it with other Caesar heat transfer models. So it's a very versatile uh, product. I use it a lot to give kind of the illusion of satin stitch, you know, to give some dimension to my overall design. Uh, comes in a ton of great colors. It's an awesome option. But for today's purpose, again, I'm using it more for just a um, template. So now we can get to the fun, which is just coloring. So I won't, again, bore you too much with the coloring. Again, it was just to showcase the pain that we go through as left-handed people. We all know, for those that are left-handed, the pain of the ink going on to the side of your hand as you're coloring over things. Can't tell you the amount of times I've dealt with that in school. I don't know, um, Joe. I'm right-handed, and I, I do that all the time. Do you? That happens to me all the I, time, yeah. Well, you're, you're drawing. I, okay. <laughs> I don't <laughs> no, know. Maybe I, I'm different. It's totally cool. Um, all right. So one other thing I want you to know when you're setting this up for the coloring don't jump right to coloring again not that it's a bad thing because it will wash off but if you use the marker the markers are pretty heavily saturated so if you start coloring directly onto your white garment more than likely the markers are going to start bleeding through so they'll start actually probably appearing in the back of the shirt um, we did test it with just using a cutting mat. So the cutting mats on a silhouette or a cutting mat on a cricket. We did place that inside to see if that would do something. But because of the coating on those mats, it actually causes it to pull up. So it might cause it to slip and you will still get marker like remnants in other areas of your garment. So we're just actually using just cardboard. So if you wanted to just use a sheet of cardboard like we'll use here, or if you just have like a box lying around, you want to flatten it out and place it inside. Um, uh, Mike, I, we got a great question. Sure. Uh, what was the number uh, of the blade? Um, like what number does it need to be on when you, when you cut that material? Uh, so that depends on which vinyl cutter you're using. Um, so if you're using the Silhouette, I'm going to just show you how easy it is to check it out, but okay. I'm going to go right to my Caesar app. Specifically for Cameo, but yeah. For the Cameo. Okay, I got you still. I'm going to go right to the Caesar app in heat transfer vinyl instructions. So for the Strip Flock Pro, it is the force, the blade is going to be at a three to four, and the materials that heat transfer vinyl flocked, the force is at six, the speed is at five. And then you have a whole list of other di different vinyl cutters right there in the app. All you have to do is look up which material. So this was for the Strip Lock Pro. We always recommend though, although I did just say that and we do have it in the app, still make sure you do a test cut because that doesn't mean that the condition of your blade was the exact same condition of the blade we had when we did our tests. So still make sure you do a test cut and make sure that your weeding of the test cut is good before you do the full run. Because again, it doesn't necessarily mean, these are just jump off points. It might work perfectly, but we don't want you to mess anything up. So um, always do test cuts. Great question. All right, so now the fun part. So I put my piece of cardboard uh, or paper stock really in this case in between my garment here. Uh, this is going to protect any kind of bleeding of the marker through to the other side. Uh, and then uh, again, this is a 40 marker set. There is a 10 marker set if you want. So there's a ton of awesome colors in this one. I don't even know where to begin. I'm going to just kind of copy what uh, Anna did on the coloring of this one. But again, this is where the fun is. Again, I'm not going to do too much. I just kind of want to show you guys the coloring in. Uh, obviously the pain of the left-handed people that we deal with sometimes when it comes to coloring stuff. Uh, now, this is what's cool about the Strip Lock Pro, and if we can get in close, but you can see how the Strip Lock Pro, because it's rigid, 
it is actually allowing my marker to not really jump over the line. So I can fill this in and I can really feel the strip lock pro kind of keeping the marker tip in, in the area it needs to. So this is kind of foolproof in a sense. And if I can do this, anyone can do this. So obviously this keeps you, uh, gives you the ability to have the freedom to color, uh, whether you're doing solid coloring, like what I'm doing here, um, you know, if you wanted to get kind of pop art and you wanted to add little dots, if you wanted to add different shapes, so on and so forth, a change of colors so it's not completely boring. And again, I'm going to go inside the letters. It's a better shot for left-handed people, right, Trev? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. You can go right all the way to the edge of it. So this is definitely a project that I think all kids, you know, yourself included, whoever's watching, I did go outside the line there. You could definitely have some fun with this project. And again, you go back, redo it. What does everyone think so far? Any questions? No questions so far. It seems like all of them have been answered. Okay. I see Anna's in there. Well, I mean, this is basically, I'm sure no one wants me to, to sit and watch me color in, but this is basically the overall objective. Again, if you guys get a close up on the, uh, the shirt here, we'll show you kind of the detail that was put into it. Very simple. Uh, this, this is where the freedom comes to how creative you want to be in the overall decoration end of it. Again, if I throw this in the wash one time, all the colors are gonna come out and we're gonna be back to an empty canvas and you could do it all over again. Again, it's, it's a way for you to get creative on how you wanna decorate this. Again, these are ultra wash markers. So this is the, the, the washable markers, very important to make sure that you know that you're getting this before you get into uh, any kind of coloring. It isn't advised to color on anything that has finished painting or anything that can't actually be laundered. So be careful with letting your kids go too crazy. But it does say that you can color on walls. You can color on skin with these things. So it's pretty cool. I just think the concept of kind of mixing the Caesar product uh, and using it as a template is kind of gives you a little bit more of that creativity and what you can do for there. A very easy project, very fun. Um, so that's kind of what I have for you today. Uh, any any last minute questions before we take off? Anna says to show the back of your t-shirt. Oh yeah, she did. set this up. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that. I'll get it close on that. Is it in? Let me see. Oh. Hold on. Yep, the SMA, the Caesar North America. Look at that. Pretty sweet. I mean, there's so much option. There's so many different options that you can do with it. Um, it's just kind of where you want to go with it. This, this is just a, a small idea. We had to obviously showcase it for the left-handed, national left-handed day. Um, I, I can't thank Michaels enough for having me on for another class. Very easy project. We just want to see you get creative with Caesar products. Uh, we definitely want to see what you're doing with Caesar products. So if you guys uh, aren't following us on social media, please uh, find us on Facebook, Instagram. we got an awesome Facebook group. It's all about learning. We are all about sharing different projects, helping one another out. If you have more questions about the Caesar product, feel free to ask us. But all of the products we showed you here today are available in your Michael store online. So do not hesitate. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in.